The implementation of urban renewal projects in the Vine City neighborhood in Metro Atlanta reveals social and economic significance of urban renewal nationally. There are major problems throughout the history of Vine City due to urban renewal projects within the neighborhood. Blight has never been more prevalent than it is now, and this is a result of projects in the past and ongoing projects today. Vine City could possibly see social and economic changes with the building of one of the world's newest, most infamous venues, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The area of Vine City in downtown Atlanta, Georgia, has had numerous efforts and redevelopment plans throughout its history that all have a lot of the same goals implemented in their visions. The Vine City Civic Association is a group that envisions the best redevelopment plan for the struggling neighborhood of Vine City. The Vine City Redevelopment Plan, orchestrated by the Vine City Civic Association, came up with a redevelopment plan that consists of three main parts, issues and opportunities, project definition, and action plan. With multiple past redevelopment plans still ongoing and the new building of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium next to the Vine City neighborhood, the future of West Side Atlanta could see drastic changes. But first, we need to understand the neighborhood's past. Curdon purchased land in what is now known as Vine City and built his home at 587 University Place in Atlanta. Curdon is also credited for being the founder of Atlanta Life Insurance Company. It is now available to the public on the west side. The Great Atlanta Fire of 1917 that happened on Auburn Avenue forced many African American residents to find new homes, in which they did on the west side of downtown in the Vine City neighborhood. There was much violence in trying to stop the African-American people from migrating to the west side of Atlanta after the fire. Racial tension and divide among the residents of Vine City still hold effects present in the community today. In 1941, Herdon Homes' public housing projects opened on the west side, which led to the increase of African-American population in that area. Previously known as Hunter Street, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive was home to many white business owners in the 1940s, but soon African-American business owners started taking over these businesses. There is evidence that at one time Vine City was in fact a thriving community with small shops on each corner and even an amusement park, but with urban renewal underway in the 1960s and 70s, Vine City lost much of what made it special and these characteristics have since vanished in present day. Vine City was losing most of its population with suburbanization underway in the 1970s, and the neighborhood gradually attracted drug users and sellers, which ultimately led to an impoverished neighborhood characterized by drugs, abandoned houses, and violence. 41% of the people in Vine City live well below the poverty line today, and half of the households present today in this area make less than $22,366 a year. With a history of low income, families surrounded by poverty, and all-time high crime rates, the people of Vine City are looking for a change. My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. I like this tone. Yeah. Uh, today marks nearly 150 days since the City Council passed Phase 1 of the $27 million commitment for 18th and Vine. We want to make sure that we're able to strengthen some of our weaker blocks and identify growth opportunities for better connections between South Vine and also the crossroads. One thing I know for sure is that change does not happen overnight. Change, you have to continue to work toward. You have to continue to make the change that you want to be. For any neighborhood or city that is struggling and in need of major redevelopment, there is of course a process that comes along with doing so. The framework and the beginning process of implementing a redevelopment plan surely doesn't happen overnight. Residents and community leaders should focus in on trusting the process in order to be successful. On June 7, 2003, Vine City conducted first of many community workshops at the local Baptist church in the neighborhood. 
residents of Vine City were invited to help plan and come up with goals to target redevelopment initiatives in their community. The workshop was an opportunity for citizens to discuss and debate future redevelopment plans such as open land use and housing and retail. According to Atlanta Daily World, the City of Atlanta partnered with the Westside Future Fund in order to launch the Anti-Displacement Tax Fund Program. This program will generously pay any property tax increases for struggling homeowners in Vine City. This will help create more places for residents of Vine City to live and help with the home vacancy issue the west side of Atlanta is currently dealing with. One of the main reasons homes in Vine City were being left empty was due to the fact they couldn't afford the rising property taxes in that particular area, but now it seems there might be an ever so needed solution to that problem. The mayor of Atlanta, Kasim Reed, said, quote, this program is another stake in the ground to preserve the character and the history of our transformative Atlanta neighborhoods, end quote. There looks to finally be a promising redevelopment plan being put into action for the impoverished people in the west side of Atlanta. Another step in the right direction for Vine City includes an economic development program named Invest Atlanta. This program will revitalize 24 vacant properties in Vine City and transform them into affordable workforce housing units available to the public. The twist is that these units must be developed for homeowners only at affordable rates, and this will eventually allow and create new places for residents to live and seek out home options, while keeping the historical buildings intact and present in the neighborhood. This undergoing redevelopment plan seeks to reduce blight present on the west side as well as enhance the security to keep residents safe in a neighborhood ruled by crime and drug use. Something very interesting has happened to Metro Atlanta just this year, the building of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Although the stadium took the place of two historic churches right along the outskirts of Vine City, many people are beginning to grow excited about the endless economical possibilities this new mega stadium will produce. The building cost of this new project that officially broke ground on May 19, 2014 was $948 million, and the total cost came out to be $1.2 billion. The mayor of, Kas of Atlanta, Kasim Reed, promised that Quote, residents will enjoy the revitalization of some of the city's most historic neighborhoods and also that it will help create well-paying jobs, end quote. Twenty-four years ago, the people of Atlanta, specifically the people in the Vine City neighborhood, suffered from the repercussions from the construction of the Georgia Dome. The Atlanta Community Development Manager said this project seems to be going more smoothly than the building of the Georgia Dome and that the planners are getting the neighborhoods involved this time around. Mercedes-Benz Stadium is expected to have major effect in the boost in Atlanta's economic growth as well as sustaining and improving the local neighborhoods like Vine City that are ruled by crime and poverty. But with the building of Mercedes-Benz Stadium and a separate location in the Georgia Dome, this will allow opportunity for redevelopment once the Georgia Dome is raised. In fact, the Georgia World Congress Center already has plans to replace the Georgia Dome with a new luxury hotel as well as a new park space for the public and tourists. The tourist attraction of a stadium like this will bring in millions of people from all over the world into downtown Atlanta, where they will be spending a lot of time on foot as well as their money. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, estimates predict that 2.5 million people are expected to move into Metro Atlanta by the year 2040, and what better place to live in the heart of an economically booming city. On top of this, Mercedes-Benz Stadium has been very busy scheduling major events that will bring in huge revenue to the city, local businesses, and hopefully surrounding neighborhoods. The stadium hopes to draw international soccer matches and concerts, but will already be hosting the 2019 Super Bowl, this year's college football playoff, and the NCAA Men's Final Four in 2020. The surrounding facilities and institutions that make up Vine City such as two Atlanta public schools, two public parks, Morris Brown College campus, Herdon Stadium, and the Herdon Museum 
hope to receive a positive effect from the newly built stadium and highly anticipated revenue as well. With the Vine City redevelopment plan starting to make progress and showing some results along with the newly built stadium, Vine City is anticipating a rise in population, security, and newly renovated buildings and parks to add to their struggling neighborhood. The mayor of Atlanta, Kasim Reed, says, quote, The metro downtown area hasn't been booming like this since the 1996 Olympics that Atlanta hosted, and everyone is excited for what's to come next, end quote. It is obvious that the neighborhood of Vine City is important to the future expansion of downtown Atlanta as well as a part of their long-lasting history. Vine City is one of millions of neighborhoods in America today that is ruled by poverty, violence, crime, and drug abuse and has ultimately deteriorated. Essentially, there is a much larger picture and Vine City is just a single pixel in the grand scheme of things. To understand the past is understanding the circumstances and effects that urban renewal has had on millions of cities across the United States. With the new redevelopment plan intact, Atlanta officials hope to revive the historic neighborhood by improving and implementing many factors and programs that will allow the neighborhood to once again become a staple in Atlanta. Reviving a city or neighborhood in the United States to make it whole again comes with a lot of planning, dedication, and passion. City officials need to feel the empathy towards people who live in these slums and impoverished areas in order to make a change. Millions of cities and neighborhoods across the country are dealing with the very same issues that Vine City is dealing with today, and that is saying something about our system. With the renovations and recreations of affordable public housing, the vision is to have residents living on the west side of Atlanta move back into the neighborhood that they know is a work in progress. With more parks and and improved security presence in the city as well, children and families should feel safe to walk around and play outside once again. <laughs>